Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to simplify radical expressions by rationalizing the denominator. If we're given an example such as 5 over the square root of 9, we know that we can never have a square root in the denominator, so we have to rationalize it. We cannot write this radical expression as such. So, what we do is multiply what we have in the denominator by itself to get rid of the square root. If we multiply it by the square root of 9, the square root of 9 times the square root of 9 is 9, right? That's the square root of 9 squared, which is 9. So that's going to be 9 on the bottom. But we can't just multiply the denominator by the square root of 9. We have to multiply the numerator by it as well, so that we're actually really just multiplying this fraction by a version of 1. Square root of 9 over square root of 9 is 1. So we can multiply anything by 1, and it stays the same. It keeps its identity. So we can, by the rules of math, multiply this by the square root of 9 over the square root of 9. We get 9 on the bottom, which is great, no more square root. And now we have 5 times the square root of 9 on the top, which we just write as 5 root 9. And now we've solved for it, and there is no way more to simplify, but this is an okay form to write this radical expression because there's no square root in the denominator. It's only in the numerator where it's allowed. And now we've simplified the radical expression. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.